I don't know about you, but I have not played The Sims 4 Spa Day in like years. I use some items from time to time, but like I don't ever play spas in my world and like go to them. Truthfully, I kind of forget that Spa Day exists. And we think there's gonna be an update to Spa Day in the next couple of weeks. If you missed it, The Sims announced they're gonna give an update to an old game pack, and all the wording is very heavily leaning towards Spa Day. So it's not confirmed, but like we're pretty sure. And it makes sense, right? Because Spa Day is super old. It was their second game pack, and if they're gonna go back and update something, I feel like that one is a good place to start. I mean, I literally just said I kind of forget it exists sometimes, so... <laughs> <laughs> if they make that one more usable, maybe that's a good thing. But Spa Day came out on July 14th, 2015. So it's over six years old. To put that in perspective, that is before I started making Sims videos on YouTube. There are possibly people who play The Sims, granted, very young children, but it is possible that like six-year-olds that play The Sims weren't even alive when this pack came out. Isn't that weird? And you know what? Just in general, a lot of you who play The Sims might not have played The Sims 4 yet when Spa Day came out. So if you're like me and, um, kind of forget what's in the pack. I want to play it today. Give my brain a little refresh before they give the pack a refresh. Let's game, shall we? <laughs> all right. <Ooh. laughs> I'm gonna look at all the cast stuff first. I use a lot of the cast from Spa Day a lot. I don't use the build stuff that much. I don't use the gameplay stuff that much. Like I'm not often doing yoga in my Sims worlds, but I do use the cast stuff a lot. Like this braid, all the time. This bun I used to use all the time. Keep in mind also that when we got Spa Day, we also had like two packs. So we didn't have many hairs. <laughs> so these were like life changing to have access to them, you know? We also have this towel wrap. I don't think I really ever use this. It matches the bathrobe. No accessories. There's some decent active wear as well. Like before Spa Day, we didn't have any leggings in The Sims 4. There's like the accessory leggings. I'm talking about these, but they're like tights. So we used to always use these, but they're so low-waisted and they're they're tights, you know? And then with Spa Day, we got these and these longer ones, plus some like pretty decent sweatpants. So this was very useful. Some shorts, a swimsuit. I mean, it was a very useful pack with casts that we were very severely lacking. I'm not the biggest fan of this top. I don't think I've ever used this top, not a single time. The swimsuit's nice though, and I use the sports bras a lot. Also this tank top I use all the time. I don't really use this thing that much or this, but this sweater all the time. So again, pretty decent cast. Oh, I forgot we got a watch. I'm not sure about the watch. I swear to you, I don't think I even knew this thing existed. <laughs> That's the point of the video. <laughs> I had no clue that we had that. Another swimsuit, bathrobe, some sort of towel dress. Do you know what? The cast was really lacking. This is a game pack. <laughs> That's all they gave us? Oh, the old days were scary. I guess they gave us a couple shoes. Although I don't think I ever use any of these. Oh no, these sandals with those socks is not a good combo. Yeah, I like never use those. The swimsuits were nice and the, the active wear was nice. There were three masculine hairs as well. I liked these. I think a couple of these look like every single hair in the game. Still to this day, we could really use some more variety with masculine hairs. Like we have the slightly balding one and then the slicked back one. Like this, this is just the same as all of them. Always. The problem dates back to the very beginning of The Sims 4. Same thing, some nice active wear in this pack. I love this crop top. <laughs> I think this is really fun. Some more shorts, sweatpants, stuff like that, bathrobe. I mean, it's not a huge cast set, but it's not bad. I'm really curious if this refresh will add any new cast assets. I mean, we didn't have toddlers when Spa Day came out, so maybe toddlers could get something. I think we're all crossing our fingers for nail polish with this one. That to me feels like the most logical addition. Like if you're gonna update Spa Day, I feel like, give me some nails, please. <laughs> It's about time. I think in my mind, that's like the big kicker that would make this pack worthwhile to me. So, uh, we'll see. So Spot Eye didn't have a new world, but it did have a new lot type. And when they do this, they'll often give us a spa or three spas in your library. These are Maxis built lots that you can place on any lot in your world. They did it with Dine Out too. It's kind of fun because it's an easy way to like start playing with the pack with little effort on your part. Like you don't need to build a spa. You can just come in, have one. Don't need the gallery for it. It's offline, it's in your library. And it's also kind of fun to see what they were imagining the pack be used like. It's nice to see the assets like put together in the way they imagined them, you know? Although I did always feel like these spas did not fit into any of the worlds at all. So that was one problem. I mean, like you place this in Newcrest, it looks so out of place. I wonder if they'll give us another one when they update the pack. I kind of doubt it, but We'll see. I don't want to get my hopes up too high for like a massive pack update, so. <laughs> anyway, they're fun. They've got like fountains inside. And truthfully, Spa Day did come with a lot of furniture. Not a lot of furniture that I use a lot though. <laughs> 
<laughs> which is a problem. I think hands down best part of this is the kitchen set. There's new counters and upper cabinets, which is huge. We don't get that very often. So that's a nice touch. The kitchen set is very useful. And there's some nice swatches on it too. Like this is a genuinely really good kitchen set. We also got a lot of doors and windows, which was fun. Although they're not doors and windows that I use very often <laughs> because it bothers me that they're frosted glass. Like I love the idea of a full glass door, okay? Do not get me wrong. I want to use this door so badly, right? But what I really want is a single pane glass door that matches the single pane glass windows that we have from the base game. And this one doesn't. Why did you not give me a matching swatch? Can they just go back and update this door to have a matching swatch to the base game one? I'm, I'm literally begging you, please, can I have a single glass door that matches this? Because I don't want it to be frosted. Like, I want to have this. That's why I never use it. And you could use the spot A windows, but like, again, I don't want it to be frosted. <laughs> oh, it's fine. Someday. Someday we'll get one. It's six years later, by the way. Still no single tile glass door. Just throwing that out there. Six years. Here's another one. I want to like this one. It's a fun concept. However, due to the limitations of The Sims 4, the lighting is super weird. <laughs> it's because this is like indoor outdoor because the ceiling is open. And so the lighting looks so weird inside. I want to like it. I do. I just can't. Anyway, Spot I actually has some pretty fun gameplay involved in it. I just don't use it very often. For example, there's a sauna. We have two variants of it. Believe it or not, your Sims can both woohoo who and die in this sauna. I also just realized that I am playing with my sim self and I don't want to do either of those things, but that's fine. I will test it for the sake of the video. I don't know anyone. <laughs> Okay. Um, death to Mortimer Goth. That says, that's not spelled right. Oh, he's the first option. Okay. <laughs> that actually worked out really well. Okay, come here, Morty. Oh, it's not even a spa. Why do they place as residential? That's so annoying. Okay, he loves me. So the woohoo part is simple. Convince the leave spouse. No. Hang on, I gotta kiss him first. Let me woohoo you. Woohoo and sauna. There you go. You just click woohoo and sauna, you know, then it steams up. This is gross. Okay, it's lasting too long. I do not like that it's my sim cell. <laughs> It's making me uncomfortable. Anyway, woo in the sauna. But also, if you make them relax in there long enough, oh, perhaps I should take my, hang on. Morty, come here. Do you wanna be in my household? I would prefer it if he died in the sauna and not me. So <laughs> maybe I'll, here, here, stand up. Do you wanna get out? Perfect, okay. Morty, you just stay right there. Just gonna have him relax for a long time. Anyway, you can also get massages here, various kinds for various prices. Judith, please, I'm trying to get a massage. Anyway, it's kind of fun, look. Why are you taking pictures of me? Are you kidding me right now? Oh, this game. Oh, here we go. We got a yoga class beginning in 30 minutes. Well, I kind of want to join, but I'm getting a massage. Am I going to miss it? Yeah, I think I missed it. You cannot join a yoga class after it has started. Okay, well, I can just do yoga. <laughs> I can just stand in the back of the class and do it behind you. Why are you taking pictures again? I know it's because he's following the celebrities around, but it really feels like they're following me around. Anyway, so there is a new skill in this pack, the wellness skill. It's a 10 level skill, and you can build it by doing yoga. You can also meditate. Remember these? things from out here. You can do meditation on them. And once you max it, you can literally teleport. Maybe I'll max it just so I can <laughs> show you. Anyway, you can also like brew special teas and like cook special recipes once you learn it. But look, once you're maxed, you can literally teleport. It's miraculous. I mean, I didn't choose to teleport very far, but um, you can in fact teleport. <laughs> Maybe I should try and do it downstairs for more of a dramatic effect. Here we go. Here we go. And I have arrived downstairs. Anyway, while I wait for him to die, I'm gonna go get a hand massage. <laughs> no, a brain boosting yoga class! is beginning. I want to join the yoga class. Why does this keep happening whenever I try and get a massage? But look, you can get hand and foot massages. This is why I feel like the bones are there to get your nails done. I wonder if you can paint your toenails in the update. I'm getting so far ahead of myself. I've like decided in my brain that we're definitely getting nail polish. I should stop. I should stop. I really shouldn't get my hopes up about this patch for this pack because what if it's not anything? Like what if the patch is just them converting the hairs from spa day for toddlers? And then they're like, look, we updated it. It has toddler content now. I mean, we'll probably get a couple new furniture items. Maybe like a new, a new massage table or like, I don't know, maybe another yoga mat or something like another very Variant. No, Morty, sit back down. Wait, superfluous steaming. Too much steam goes well
well past pleasure and oh oh no it's happening <laughs> that happened really fast actually mortimer goth is dead oh danny hit his head on the bench that's unpleasant but see isn't that fun i feel like for me some of the benchmarks of a quality pack are like does it have a woohoo spot does it have a new death spot a has both okay goodbye morty it was nice knowing you did you take his gravestone give it back i wanted that other cool thing they added baths with soaks you can take a mud bath and you can take a bath with like various soaks perhaps i want a mud bath you can do that okay and look at this also because they oh those cucumbers do not look right <laughs> And look, because they already have face masks like this, it makes me wonder if they'll add face masks in the patch to the pack, because it seems like a logical, okay, we already have some of them. Maybe you can like put them on in the mirror or something, like get a facial at the spa. Or, I don't know. It feels like a logical addition to me because they already have something sort of similar if they just put a mask on in the bath. That mud looks really nasty, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> she also lost hygiene from that, which is kind of fun. I'm gonna do a citrus soak. Look, isn't that so nice though? With the citrus that also looks kind of weird. Excuse what? You're an outcast. Your dastardly deeds have alienated you from polite society? Is this because I killed you? Why is my dead boyfriend trying to invite me to the criminal career? I'm trying to take a mud bath. Oh, that makes me feel bad. Calling me from beyond the grave to talk about my dastardly deeds? I'm gonna come meditate quickly. Also, this waterfall item, they have it for all three wall heights. It's actually really good. Like, I'm, I'm really into this. Oh, and this thing too, you can light it with like essential oils, which is kind of nice. Gives your Sims moodlets and stuff from it. There's actually some really useful, nice items. Now that I'm playing this again, I'm like, wait a minute, I kinda, I kinda like Spa Day. Oh, also this thing? So it's already got drinks on it, but when you go into build mode, this item is an empty drink tray, and then you can restock it and then have drinks ready, which is very useful for at home. If you wanna like have drinks at a party for your Sims, you can do that. <gasps> Yoga, I'm, do I'm joining the class. I am joining this class this time. Please go faster, please, I don't wanna miss it. Oh, okay, I made it. Did I not make it? Oh my god. Do you know what? I can't take this anymore. <laughs> I can't handle this. What are my thoughts on Spa Day? Um, it's kind of a weird pack. It doesn't feel as like big or game altering to me as some other game packs do. I mean, you compare this pack to some of the more recent ones. I'm not the biggest fan of Realm of Magic, but I will use it for the sake of comparison. You get a whole new occult and a whole new world with Realm of Magic. And with this one, you get what? A yoga mat? <laughs> you know, like this pack isn't the biggest. Granted, it was their second one and a lot of the older packs are not as good, which I guess is why they're updating it. And it is kind of fun if you remember to use it. <laughs> like most of the time when I've used spa day in the past it's like oh my sims just got married and i want to pretend to have a honeymoon let's go to the spa together or like a bachelorette party kind of thing where like my sims gonna get married so i'm gonna have her and her friend or like her and her sister go to the spa together maybe my sim is pregnant and wants to go to the spa like i kind of use it like that i never use that wellness skill i'm gonna be real i never have sims do yoga sometimes i use the special baths um never have my sims get massages i just I just don't bother with that, really. I mean, the bottom line is you kind of have to go out of your way to use Spa Day, and it's just not a thing that I, like, tend to gravitate towards or use very often, which is why I'm really curious to see what they do to it. Because I do have some nostalgia for this pack. Like, a lot of the earlier packs are really not that good. <laughs> Same with, like, Outdoor Retreat. I could definitely use an update, but I have a lot of fond memories of, like, one, the release day for Outdoor Retreat and how excited I was, and, like, fond memories of being at home on my laptop, laying in bed, and, like, trying to run The Sims 4 and go camping. I don't know, like, I just, this takes me back to, like, early Sims 4. I don't know, it kind of takes me back. It's fun. I'm just trying really hard to not get my hopes up for the update to it, because I want it to be really good, I do, but I also know that, unfortunately, it is The Sims 4, so our expectations should not be high. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kind of curious to hear also how many of you have Spa Day? Because I feel like this is one of those packs that if you started playing The Sims 4 more recently, like if you weren't around when Spa Day came out, you probably wouldn't have bought it. Maybe I'm just going off of my own personal opinion, but like if I was a casual simmer who did not make Sims videos for a living, I'm not sure that Spa Day would be like my pick of the game packs. Like, I don't think I would buy this one. I did buy this one when it first came out, but again, there was only two game packs, you know? So when your options are that limited, <laughs> you will take any kind of new content. Whereas now, like, I probably wouldn't buy it if it came out now. But maybe the update will change that. I don't know. I guess we'll see. And now that I think about it, that teleporting thing is really useful. Maybe I, maybe I should 
spend more time doing yoga in The Sims. Okay, I'm gonna go. <laughs> I did make a whole video talking about what I hope to see from the Spa Day update, so I'll link that down below if you want to watch it. And there is not a confirmed date for this or anything. I assume it'll be the next couple of weeks because they said it would come out within the month, like two weeks ago, so <laughs> I assume it'll be soon, but they didn't ever say what day, at least not yet. So when they do announce it, I'll tell you, don't worry. But for now, we wait and we hope. Just not hope too much, because then we'll be sad. All right, um, bye. <laughs> I'm wearing a dress right now. I have worn a dress about two times ever to record a YouTube video. And now that I think about it, maybe I should do that more often. It looks cute and it did not take more effort than putting on a hoodie does. So <laughs> maybe I should try a little bit more to look nice when I record. <laughs>